morning guys we run down here and check the cattle real quick and uh we're gonna get the 4020 and go hook up to the little field cultivators and go start smoothing up a field that's like an acre that we're gonna seed the hay when uh my cousin brings the seed home from the elevator so while we do that dj he's still off of school in spring break he's gonna start hauling some corn it's paying pretty decent, so I would like to move a fair amount of it. He's using his 1206 on the to run it. We're gonna take my 4020 here to do this with. I'll explain a little bit. This is our second 4020. We went to an auction a couple of Saturdays ago and I had really no interest in buying anything down there other than some tractor weights. And I, I had DJ's number that he got for us and we just kind of watching it bid and it went and went and there wasn't anybody bidding on this. So I got this for half of what a 4020 goes for. And it, I mean, the sheet metal, it's a, there's a couple little dings on the front of the hood. It's straight. It's got 4320 fenders. It's got all the missing sheet metal on a pallet and the original fenders to put back on it. It had a cab on it at one time, but it's only got 5,000 hours on it and the draw bars, everything's tight on it. It's not a wore out tractor like it looks like. So I got a we got a good 4020 for half price. So right now we're planning on uh, restoring it and DJ wants something to practice painting before he does his 1206. So there we go. So he's gonna right now we're planning on uh, fixing the little dings in the sheet metal. We got to put an injection pump on it because the governor rings messed up in the one But other than that, I think we're gonna paint it and Put the all the sheet metal back on it and the right fenders and we're gonna try to uh, Sell it and make some money on it. I think unless we like start liking it too much, which I'm not gonna say that won't happen, but we've got something else. We've got our eye on that we would use the money for
I got that wheel cultivated and then I went and hooked up to a Great Plains drill. I'm gonna grease some no-till holders on it and uh, hook my hydraulics hooked up. DJ, he's hauling corn now I've been here at the home farm. So. Uh, my cousin's going to bring the seed to me when he gets off of work at the elevator. He'll just bring it home, drop it off, and, and then I'll uh, set the drill and I'll go out and get it planted today. So my DJ's hauling corn while I'm waiting on the seed. I got a little bit more I can take off of the planter yet. Um, last video, I took all the drag chains off. You got about four no-till colders that the bolts are seized on, so I'm gonna get under the torch and start heating stuff up and we'll try to get them off. I didn't want to do it last night before I quit because I don't like heating on stuff and going to the house for the night. I just I don't trust it, so that's what we're gonna do for now. And we might try to get that other gauge wheel off where the fertilizer drive tires in the way. Planter's completely tore down, got everything in the scrap. So now we, I got the devil disc openers, but I think it's gonna be easier to do the no-till holders first. They'll be in tomorrow, so. We'll probably quit on the planter for today and we'll go get that alfalfa seeded because he drove home from work and dropped that seed off. So we'll get the drill set and we'll probably go do that. So they mixed us up a, a blend of alfalfa and hay mate, which I think is just orchard grass. But um, they got us enough for 20 pounds an acre. So I'll have to figure out where I want the drill set and then we'll dump it in here and get going. It's got all of our charts in here on the uh, lid So right here on our chart, it looks like we need to be below between 30 and 35. It's so about 32. And that adjusts the slide on how far your meter's in when they meter seed out. So this will switch the transmission to drive type one. Then we got this little guy right here that moves our meters.
those are the meters that it slides in and out when I work that lever. The transmission's on drive type one. All of our little gates are all the way up, so I think we should be good to go ahead and dump it in there. That'll be enough for the four acres that we're gonna seed total. So, uh, when we get to the field, we'll have to adjust our depth because alfalfa, you just, you don't want to bury it. You just want to barely cover it. If it gets too deep, it might not come up. So the ground's good and dry. and We got rain coming Thursday, so we might have a, uh, Pretty good window here to get it off to a good start. I've seen the fertilizer spreader go by the co-op. They were going to spread uh, fertilizer and oats on it. And the drill will kind of work, throw dirt on top of the oats. And that's what will make them come up. So it is a little breezy. So hopefully they got a decently even spread. But I'm gonna grab a can of Mountain Dew and then we're gonna slide these front doors shut probably since DJ's not back from the elevator. We're gonna go see if we can get some hay on the ground.